What's going on? Everyone? Welcome to Kibo Games. My name is Juan. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it so much. This video is going to be about the games going to read till the week of March 26. We have a we have about four games. Two of them are expansions. However, one of these games I think is going to be a phenomenal one. It's being ported in from being a video game into like now a board game. I got to see it, almost play it at Dice Tower West, but just did not have time to fit into my schedule, even though I really wanted to try it. However, a couple of my friends tried it out and they really enjoyed it and loved it and told me all about it. And I'm excited to tell you that it's coming to retail now. Uh, it's it's been planned to come to retail eventually, but it was kind of previewed there. Uh, let's get these games showcased. Keep in mind, I am covering the games coming to retail in the U.S. That Therefore, these games may have already been released in all other regions of the world. If that is the case, you may have already seen different coverage. You might have a copy from going to a convention. They had like early copies being given out. Uh, keep that in mind. So... Next thing to keep in mind is going to be the global shipping crisis going on. Right now at this moment, there is, I think it's starting to slow down, so I might stop giving this message out, but there is a delay on shipping. And if games get delayed or the release date changes, I'll make sure to update you about that change on the new video in its new the game's new release week. Let's get these games showcased for you. Let's preview them here. Let's go over first one coming out this week or should already be out is Marvel Villainous. Marvel Villainous, not just Villainous, but Marvel Villainous, the expansion Twisted Ambitions, is should be out this week. So this Marvel Villainous, if you haven't played Villainous, if you haven't played Marvel Villainous, basically you're playing as villains from Marvel. Uh, there's also a Disney version of this. Uh, of course, this expansion of the Marvel version. And you're playing as different Marvel villains. And your whole goal is to get your evil plot to kind of come to fruition and make sure that everyone else doesn't. And everyone has their little mechanics that play differently and you have cards that you pull out of your deck and these cards do specific things and abilities. You can send villains over to the enemy side and they can mess with them and do a cause a lot of shenanigans for them so they can kind of delay the coming of their plot, right? Or develop, developing their, their evil scheme. In this expansion, you're going to get three new villains. It's Kang the Conqueror, Titania, and Doc Ock, Dr. Octopus. Honestly, the game's cool. I, I enjoy the game. And I, when I say cool, I mean literally like the game is cool, right? Like I really enjoy playing the game. Does it bring anything kind of new or different that I'm really excited about? Not really, but I love Marvel and playing as the villain is pretty cool. I think, I think it can be thematic and it has some really cool things about the game where like that relates to the villain. And if you're a big fan of the comics like I am at times, that really comes out and I really enjoy that about the game. Uh, so that's kind of like the big thing. The game isn't, like I said, nothing really to brag about. But if you don't like Marvel, they also have the Disney villainous kind of thing going on. Which, like I said, a lot of people are really big fans. And I think the game, like I said, the game's cool. It's just cool. That's how I label it. Uh, it's nothing to brag about, nothing too crazy. It's just a cool game. However, I am picking up this expansion because I, you know, I have love Marvel. I love villainous. This is going to be coming out this week by Raven's Burgers. I actually could not find any like on their website. So here's some pictures to look at on the Marvel article that I found. Look at all oh, the miniatures in this game. I love so much. They look really cool. I love like the little, I don't know what they call them, like stone statues, I guess. Like, they look like statues to me, like things like that would like represent the villain himself. But these are some of the things. I love those so much. I think they look really cool. I would love to have like bigger, like more epic pieces of these. Uh, this is going to be Marvel Villainous and this is going to be coming out this week or should already be out for you to pick up. Uh, this is game coming up next is going to be hair of the dog by cherry pick games this is going to come out Mar uh, march 31st hair of the dog you are your whole goal in this game uh it, by the way adorable theme i love the theme of this game it's really really cute i love the artwork too look at these cute dogs if you don't know i love dogs i love animals in general but i have a preference to having dogs as pets and i have two so hair of the dog your whole goal is to go and pet as many dogs as possible right? Just pet as many dogs as possible. And you're going to do that by fulfilling different conditions. And the conditions you fulfill, have you go pet different dogs. Right? The game's cute. It's a cute game. The game was on Kickstarter. Now it's coming to retail. Keep that in mind. So they may have already have a deluxe copy of some sort. And this is just going to be the retail version. They may have been nice enough to just kind of release everything to retail. So as someone else can pick it up as well. The game itself, it's a very simple, straightforward game. You're trying to fulfill certain conditions to try to go and pet these dogs. And the dogs are cute. I love the artwork. That's one of the big things like the artwork on this game is really cute. I really enjoy that about it. However, not anything past that, it's pretty simple probably. Uh, nothing too complex or complicated. It like, placed up to eight players. That is really interesting. Uh, I'm not too sure I didn't catch this in the rule book if I, when I was reading over it. Uh, however, I don't think it's simultaneous play. I could be wrong there because eight players is a lot of games. A lot of play. Eight players is a lot of players and it can be a long game sometimes. So yeah, you basically have to go in and pet as many dogs as possible. That's your thing. The game is cute. It plays 30 to 60 minutes. And also, yeah, pet collection. So the game, the car, the pets you pet, pet collection. I just caught that. 
I didn't, <laughs> I thought it was like, I, it's set collection, pet collection, set collection. So yeah, the dogs you pet, they're gonna come into your collection and you're comboing with different things and diff they're comboing with different pets and such. I'm going to be excited. I wanna see the cards really bad. I didn't see too much of the artwork of the cards, but you can see a little bit of it here. And I am like, I think that's gonna be my favorite part about this game. It's just the artwork and I love the artwork already as it is. This is gonna, this is going to, going to be Hair of the Dog by Cherry Pick Games coming out March 31st. Coming up next is going to be Dorf Romantic by Pegasus Spiel. So this game was originally a game, a video game, and now it's being poured into a board game. I find that exciting only because I think these are getting better and better. So like games being turned into like video games, being now translated into like a board game is actually extremely cool. I think like having that happen and being done really well is a 10 out of 10 for me. And I think this is the game I was talking about. Uh, at this game, like I said, I saw it at Tire West. I think it's a plate, unfortunately. It really sucks. But the game looks actually looks phenomenal. It looks like a great game. I got really good reviews from a couple of friends. I am actually playing the Steam version of this game, and I really enjoy it as well. And I'm probably going to consider picking this up just because uh, I, I think the game itself is really cute. Okay, let me talk to you about the game. And not, not, not a lot about my opinion here. So yeah, basically, you're going to be having your tiles. I hope, please, pictures. Okay, on the back. There we go. Uh, you're going to have these tiles, and the tiles are going to line them up. It almost reminds me, and it's not because the game does not play like this at all, Carcassonne-ish, right? You're making like trails of rivers and such and trying to make them as long as possible to score more points. However, there's also a mini campaign going on as you play, which unlocks more cards, more tiles and such, just like the game itself, right? Yeah, you're gonna be forming a beautiful landscape with these hexagons. I really wanna find you. Okay, pro, another picture here. Let's see if I can zoom in on this. Uh, it looks, like I said, gorgeous. The game looks pretty simple and straightforward. It is. From my understanding, I almost like messed up here. From my understanding, it is going to be like a, almost like a campaign of like six stories or seven stories. And you can replay the campaign. So it's not really a legacy game. You're going to blind up tiles, trying to get as many points as possible by putting these tiles in specific places. You're going to have built like a, it's like a landscape building puzzle game. And I think I read that in this uh, article here somewhere. The game, honestly, like I said, the video game itself is actually really cool. I like it. Really well reviewed, by the way, not just like by me, by a lot of people. It has very positive reviews on Steam. And the board game itself, I already got good reviews from the friends that played it. And I am excited for it only because it looks phenomenal. And I met that marketing manager, Anton, and he talked a lot and really good things about this game. And I am excited to play this game. I'm excited to try it out when it comes out. This is coming out March 31st by Pegasus Spiel, Dorf Romantic. Dorf Romantic. Dorf, 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 Dorf Romantic. I'm saying like Dorf Romantic, which... I guess if it was a space, it would make sense. Actually, Mom says it here. Let's go to the next game. Next game we're talking about is Beyond the Sun, Leaders of the New Dawn by Rio Grande Games. This is going to be an expansion for Beyond the Sun. If you haven't played Beyond the Sun, it's this game's coming out at the end of next at the end of this week. It's going to be out. It's gonna probably March 31st. Uh, and it's going to be an expansion for Beyond the Sun. Beyond the Sun is actually a really cool tech tree building simulator is like what I, to, what I like to call it, a tech tree building simulator. And your whole thing is to go out the tech trees, which give you different abilities and unlock different new things for you. And you're doing that also by colonizing the galaxy a little bit. Like you have a little section here on the right side of your play area where you're going with your ship and you're colonizing the planets and getting points through that as well. Build up your tech tree and get points out of it. That's kind of the thing. Uh, really, really cool. What this expansion adds into that is going to be a leaders, right? You're going to be able to pick leaders who have special abilities or passive abilities as well. And also adds new cards and new things to mess with in the game. So the game, like I said, it's big. I wish I had pictures to show you on here, but they don't have any pictures. So I'm going to tell you about it. It's going to be the tech tree. You have a tech tree and a tech, the tree goes up, of course, into like smaller smaller sections and you unlock these tech trees and the tech trees are going to give you different abilities and let you do more things. And the ones you unlock also allow you to explore and colonize more. And this adds more cards to replace in those tech trees, right? It's not just like on the board, you can actually replace with different cards and have it be a very even experience every time, every time you play. Honestly, this game was phenomenal. It's a great game and I'm more than like, I don't own the game yet. I'm looking for a copy, so I hope to pick one up soon. And it's gonna be a Leaders of the New Dawn expansion, which is probably gonna add a ton more to this already amazing game. This is going to be Beyond the Sun, Leaders of the New Dawn expansion for Beyond the Sun, coming out by Rio Grande Games at the end of this week. And that is it. We are at the end of the video. Uh, we have a pretty short week. Uh, we are at the end of March, uh, end of the first quarter. So, ooh. 
Do not quote me on that. I am not business savvy knowing with industries like like that. So it could be the end of the first quarter. Probably is, I'm assuming, because it's like the March and such. And we're going to the second. And we're going to have a slew of new games coming out. As well as coming out for, we have like a, the Gamma Convention coming up. Which I'll be there to give you the first scoop in the coverage on everything that is going to be there. I can't wait to come back and cover that for you. And those videos are going to be coming at the end of the month of April. So yeah, you will see more videos from me this week. However... I will see you in next week's video on Monday. If not, thank you for watching the video. I appreciate it. Have a good one.